In this video, I'm going to show you the follow feature and how that works. Again, I would recommend taking a look at the tutorial page on this because there are some examples of different custom lines that you can use. You could follow the boards of a user, um, follow the followers of a user, follow users who are being followed by a user, <laughs> follow the boards who are being followed by a user, and follow the followers of a user's board. Um, quite a tongue twister there. So you've got all kinds of different combinations of people you can look at. If I go back over to the tool. If I click on the follow button, again, I want to enable it. Um, I could set a timeout. Here you've got the follow options of how many people you're going to follow. Again, you've got autopilot options. And then user criteria is very cool. You can set up um, a specific number of how many followers they have. So, you know, really you don't want to follow people that are just like inactive accounts. And that's what this is really going to be for. So you can make sure that they've got, um, you know, a basic number of boards and pins. So if you're following people that have 30 or more boards, I'd say they're probably going to be a pretty active user. You could then do, um, you know, let's just say I do cat fashion. Again, you can even specify the board criteria for the types of boards. And if I hit save, this is just going to find random people that come up with this term. If I close this, I can then go back and close this down. And I can do run. And this will actually start up all of the different things that I've started. Usually takes a second to get going, but you can see there goes my pins. And eventually my followers will start as well. Here you can see the repins going there. It's actually on sleep mode. And then there goes the follows, active, one of 17. So this is basically going to go off in every, you know, since I set it 30 to 90 seconds, this will randomly follow a new person, um, you know, one of the 17 people. And really, if you're using this properly, you're not going to be doing overkill. It's more consistent um, effort here. You really want to make sure that, um, you know, you're not going to go and follow like 500 people in a day. Granted, I know you can go on Pinterest and, you know, I could just manually go in here and it just start going completely crazy, just hitting like follow, follow, follow. You know, here I've got all these boards. I could just sit here going crazy like following. So, I mean, a lot of people I'm sure probably do a lot of this stuff. So you want to make sure you're just not going really, really crazy with your um, with the bot. I mean, this is not going to raise any red flags compared to what maybe a person could do manually.